Hey everyone, a warm welcome to this video lecture. In this video, we are going to explore how to install Windows applications on Linux. And for demonstration purposes, I'll be using Ubuntu 24.04 as my Linux environment. Now, there are multiple ways of installing Windows applications on Linux, and one of the most widely used methods is using Wine. Now, Wine is a free and open source compatibility layer that allows Windows programs to run on Linux, and it works by translating Windows API calls into Linux commands. Now, for this video, I'm going to install Wine on Ubuntu 24.04. And later on, I'm going to show you how to install a Windows.exe application on Linux using Wine. So be sure to watch the entire video right till the end. Now, the biggest news at this moment is that Wine 10.0 stable has been released and the release was done on January 21st. 2025 that is this year it comes with over 6000 individual changes and that is according to the release notes now some of the key highlights include support for ARM64 EC architecture we have improved implementation of high DPI support and Vulkan drivers we have a number of desktop integration enhancements kernel process elevation Network sessions are supported in direct play. We also have three direct 3D enhancements and much more. For a more comprehensive overview of the latest changes in Wine 10.0, be sure to check out the release notes on their GitLab page. Okay, so you can head over to this URL here and this will take you to the Wine. Uh, stable GitLab page so you can scroll over the release notes. So as you can see here we have a list of the changes in Wine 10.0 starting with the latest changes in ARM 64-bit. We have graphics, uh, desktop integration, direct 3D and much more. Okay so take your time and scroll all the way to familiarize yourself with the latest changes and enhancements. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, let's now get our hands dirty and see how to install Wine on Ubuntu 24.04. And later on, we are going to install Windows applications using the same platform. So here I am at my desktop. And now to begin the process of installation, uh, run the command sudo apt update. So this is going to update the local package index. And it should take a few seconds to one minute. Okay, so we are done. All right. Now, once you've updated the local package index, you need to add the 32 bit architecture in order to support 32 bit Windows applications. Okay, and to do so, I'm just going to use this command here and I'm going to copy this and run this on the terminal. So don't worry, I'm going to include all the commands in the comment in the description. Okay, so run this command and this allows you or this adds the 32 bit architecture to your system. Okay, now the next step is to add the GPG key to verify the integrity of wine packages installed from the wine repository. All right. Now, to do this, the first step is to create the keyring directory. And uh, this is the directory in which the GPG key will be saved. Okay. So run this command. All right. Okay. Now, once you have created the keyrings directory, the next step will be to download the GPG key, the GPG key to this directory. Okay. So I'm going to copy and run this command here. Okay. So this downloads uh, the wine GPG key here, all right, the winehq.key and saves it, saves it in the Etsy apt keyrings directory, all right. So as you can see here from the output, we get this information here, all right. So just to confirm this, I'm going to check the keyrings directory. So I'm going to use the ls-l command, then type the directory path. So here we have Etsy apt keyrings directory. And as you can see, we have our GPG key right here downloaded. All right. 
Okay, so now with the GPG key in place, the next step we are going to add the wine repository to the sources list. And to do so, I'm going to run this command here. So I'm going to copy this and paste it on the terminal. And this command is going to add the repository in this directory here, sources.list.d. So I'm going to hit enter. And as you can see here, the repository has been saved successfully. All right. So once again, I'm going to use the ls -l, uh, command. Then I'm going to copy this directory path here and paste it just to confirm. Okay, so as you can see at the last entry here, we have added the wine HQ uh, repository to the sources list directory. Okay, now in order for the system to use this repository, we need to once again update the local package index and to do so, run the sudo apt update command once again. So I'm going to run sudo apt update and this refreshes the local package index and the local cache. So as you can see, we have new entries on the output. Okay, so this, this shows us that now the system can start downloading the packages from the wine repository. All right. Now, to install wine stable using apt package manager, simply run this command here. Okay. So I'm going to copy this and run it. So this is going to install wine stable on your system. So I'm going to hit enter. Now it installs quite a number of packages. So as you can see, you need at least, uh, this is going to install 435 megabytes. So ensure you have adequate disk space. Okay. So as you can see, the installation is going to take quite some time. All right. So at this point, I'm going to fast forward the video and then resume once the installation is complete. And there we go. So we have successfully installed Wine. All right. So now after the installation, I'm going to check the version installed. And to do so, I'm simply going to run the command Wine with a double hyphen. Uh, flag then version okay so from the output you can clearly see now that we are running wine 10.0 okay now the last step is to initialize wine okay so sorry i'm going to minimize that okay so now we are going to initialize wine so that you can start uh, using wine to install windows applications and to set up wine simply run the command uh, wine boot like that and hit enter okay so this is going to create a hidden directory called wine in your home directory okay so this is the output you're going to see and you'd get this wine mono installer pop-up okay so to proceed simply click install all right so this is going to install the wine mono package, which is needed for .NET applications to work correctly. So I'm just going to click install. So this will install the necessary packages for the .NET applications required uh, for Windows to run. So this will take just a few seconds. So just uh, wait it out. And there you go, we have finished initializing wine. And like I mentioned, uh, the command creates a hidden directory uh, called wine in your home directory. Okay, so this is the directory here dot wine. And this contains uh, the equivalent of drive C in Windows. Okay, so let's confirm this. So I'm going to run the ls hyphen la command then dot wine okay so here you can see we have a folder or directory 
called drive C. Okay, now let's examine this folder. So I'm going to add forward slash uh, drive C. And as you can see, we have a familiar directory structure such as the one that you'd find in a Windows system. Okay, so this is the directory that is going to contain the Windows applications once installed. All right. Okay, so we have successfully installed Wine. Now, in our next section, I'm going to show you how to install a Windows application using Wine. So now for demonstration purposes, I'm going to show you how to install the VLC media player, which is a popular open source media player on Linux. I know very well uh, you can install it directly on Linux, but this is just for demonstration purposes since it's also available for Windows. Okay, so I'm going to head over to my web browser here and search for VLC uh, media player download. Okay. So just select this first option here and this takes you to this page where you can download a, an executable file for Windows. So just click on this uh, button here. Okay, so this is going to download the executable file. All right. Now, in my case, I already have it downloaded. Okay, so this will automatically commence the download of the file. So here I'm just going to cancel this one out since I already have it downloaded already in my downloads folder. Okay, so just to confirm this, I'm simply going to use the ls command and I'm going to check the downloads directory. So here you can see. I have the VLC uh, executable file. Okay, now there are two ways of using Wine to install a Windows application. You can do this on the command line and also use the graphical user interface. So for the command line, what you need to do is to run the command Wine followed by the full path of the executable. Okay, so in this case, I'm going to just specify the path which is the home directory and downloads directory like that then vlc okay so ensure you specify the full path to where your executable is located and hit enter so once you do that you're going to see the installer pop up here okay so this will guide you to install the application the same way you can do it on Windows. So here I'm just going to uh, select the language. So I'm just going to click the default. Okay. So as you can see, you get the notification. Okay. So here you get this wizard here to allow you to install VLC. So I'm just going to accept the defaults all the way. Next, uh, install. And as you can see, uh, the installation is in progress. So just wait a few seconds for the VLC media players to be installed. And as you can see, it's quite a straightforward process. Okay. And the setup is complete now. Okay. So here I'm just simply going to click finish to exit the wizard. Okay, so and this is what you get. So I'm just going to click continue. And this is our application. We have VLC media player. Okay, so I can easily maximize this. And as you can see, we have successfully installed a VLC a media player. And on your desktop to the bottom right corner, you can see an icon here. Okay. And also you can uh, use the application manager to view the applications installed. So for example, you can press the Windows button on your keyboard and here you can search for VLC. Okay, so here you can launch VLC. Sorry, uh, let me use this one instead. Yeah, so you can you can launch VLC as you can see here. Okay. All right. So that is one way of installing an application uh, using Wine.
on the command line now the other way uh, you can use the graphical means so i'm just going to minimize this so i'm gonna head over to my web browser here now i'm going to demonstrate how to install notepad plus plus which is a popular code editor okay so here i'm gonna go to the notepad notepad plus plus downloads page as you can see and i'm going to select download okay so in this download section uh, i'm going to select uh, the latest version okay so just click on any version you want or you want to uh, install so i'm going to click on this and uh, here i'm going to select uh, i'm going to select the 32 bit installer so i'm just gonna come here and select the installer okay so this is going to install uh, notepad okay so now i'm going to minimize this so i'm gonna go to my downloads directory okay so here i'm just going to come to this executable and i'm going to right click on this and select open with so this is going to bring this pop-up okay so now what you're going to do you're going to select wine windows program loader this selection here and uh, click open so this pops up this wizard okay so just like the vlc media player installation i'm just going to go with the defaults okay so i'm just gonna click next uh, next i agree uh, next create shortcut uh, install so as you can see the installation is in progress and uh, there we go so run notepad okay so i'm just going to click finish and i'm gonna minimize this so here i'm just going to cancel this out and there you go we have installed our notepad plus plus code editor and here it is so i'm gonna close this so here it created an icon so you can just double click uh so as you can see the desktop file is not trusted uh to enable launching right click then okay so what i'm gonna do i'm just going to right click and then select uh enable launching or allow launching yeah this is the selection okay so now i can double click on this and there you go so as you can see uh we have successfully installed uh notepad plus plus using wine okay guys we have come to the end of our lecture and in this video i showed you how to install windows applications on linux and more specifically ubuntu 24.04 using wine so in case you found this video helpful and insightful please do leave a like and hit the subscribe button to get more updates when i upload linux content and this will also go a long way in helping me create more linux videos i appreciate your help and support so be sure to keep checking in in my channel for more videos so that's it guys for this lecture see you in the next video